Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to use Fusion 360 to do the gears for this clock. Tool, add-in, clip, there's a clip in C, there's a clip in Python, they're the same. Run. Module 10. Okay, and here's the gear. Here's the gear with more information. I may I use metric system. The pressure angle twenty degrees. That's pretty standard. Module is the size of the teeth. Selected ten. We'll have a later look. 24 teeth. Backlash we'll see later. The radius filler, it's there. It's on that window. One thing to know, and sometimes that radius can cause Fusion 360 to crash, so just in doubt, just put zero. Gear thickness, it's the thickness there and the whole diameter that's the hole in the middle over there the main thing to remember module times 24 is the pitch diameter so module times teeth equal pitch diameter can find more information down here. This is the centerpiece. This diameter, the radius 108. Then next sketch, we can see the teeth. And then right click on edit sketch. I find uh, those dimensions that I put before. Radius 120, the pitch diameter plus 10 equal the outer diameter. Since the goal is to 3D print those gills, let's look uh, how small can we go. I made three different gears module. That's module one, module 1.2, and module two. For the mechanical clocks, I stand with module two. And now the slicing with Cura. That's module two. You can see how many layers there is. It's still nice and strong with a that's with a 0 0.4 extruder then my module 1.2 and module 1 you can see it's it can easily go wrong backlash there's two sets of gears that are the same same number of teeth the same distance spacing 48 the difference is the backlash here there's no backlash the teeth are touching here the backlash I have one millimeter backlash you can see the backlash here So when 3D printing, you want to add some extra room. That that would be a bad solution to move the gear away. Adding the backlash on the teeth is a much better solution. Let's 
get this program run. I'm going to put module two. 60, one millimeter of backlash, wood filler, radius zero, gear thickness three, and the hole in the middle, it's going to be five. Okay. And here's the gear. I'm going to do another one, script again, I'm going to change to 8, and thickness is going to be 28. And click OK. back to solid. Now I can create a sketch on the top. So I'm going to make the, the spokes. Make a line. No, make a circle first. A 20 millimeter circle and then do another circle same center going to 104 and now I'm going to do a line from the middle out wherever and then I'm going to offset that line millimeters and three millimeters the other side so it's negative so that will be the spoke now I'm going to trim extra to clean out Clean in the middle. I'm going to save the gear, put a name, and save. And now the gear is showing up on the left side. I'm going to do a circular pattern. I select the spoke, select the center, put four, click OK, and I have four spokes. Select the quadrant, extrude. Select the other quadrant. Extrude all. Click OK. And now I have a gear with spokes. Now I'm going to select the fillet tool. That will put some radius in those corners. So select one corner, select the other corner, put the size, I'm going to go two millimeters, and then I'm going to do a circular pattern, select those two radiuses, find the center, or an arc that shows the center, I put four again, and now uh, I have those radiuses on all four spokes. I'm 
don't select the arc tool and place an arc at the root of the teeth place the arc click ok there we are I'm going to extrude click ok now I'm going to choose circular pattern Select the arc again. Select the diameter to have a center. Put 60. Click OK. And now I have 60 radiuses for all teeth. I'm going to do the same thing on the eight teeth gear. So create a new sketch. Choose the arc tool, click arc. There is an arc. Use the circular pattern tool again. Click the center, click it eight times. Now I have eight radiuses. Select, extrude, select all those radius. Twenty five is going to be good and save. Now I have a gear that's much nicer looking. I'm going to make a copy of the eight teeth gear, move it seventy two millimeter and show you how it meshes. Now we can see how the radiuses give more room for the teeth when meshing. Much nicer setup. Now you saw I want to slice it and well there's something missing so what happened? The reason is I need to use that tool combine. Combine the first gear with the second gear. Click OK. Now it's one part. And select it. It selected all. And there it is. Gear is ready to be 3D printed. I hope you liked the video, please like, subscribe and thank you for watching.